Hey guys, welcome back to Littlefoot Ranch. And if you're new here, welcome. I am Rebecca and it's good to see y'all. I do a wide variety of videos on everything from gardening to horses and dogs and healthier cooking, compassionate living, DIYs and more. So if any of that sounds appealing to y'all, just hit that subscribe button and smash the like button and stick around for future videos. Today's hashtag March into health 23 video. We are going to be doing none other than some kombucha brewing. Be asking yourself, what is kombucha? Or maybe you've heard of it because it actually is pretty big in the homesteading community. Well, it's a fermented tea to, to basically briefly sum it up. It's a fermented tea List and of health benefits that you can receive from drinking kombucha on a daily basis will literally just blow your mind and just it's endless it's absolutely endless as to everything that kombucha can do for you there's just far too many to name all of them but i am going to touch on some of them but first let's get the water boiling for the tea oh yeah all we have to do is boil four cups of water first easy enough while waiting for the water to boil, let's talk about kombucha. Hey guys, so kombucha is a fermented tea. And in Colorado, I used to brew kombucha all the time. But I, a friend of mine had given me a SCOBY, and so I had just, my only way of experience is of making kombucha was with a already started SCOBY. I've never actually done it this way, but here in East Texas, nobody had a SCOBY. <laughs> so finally, I just said, you know what, the hell with it, like I'm just gonna, I'm just going to just order a dehydrated kit. And so that's As what I did. you guys did. probably already know, fermented foods is incredibly good for you. And it's just, it does wonders for the gut. And 70 to 80% of your immune system is in your gut. So basically, if you want to boost immunity, you need really good gut health. And kombucha can totally it's is. It's a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. It's a living, breathing thing. And basically, you brew some tea and you put the starter in there and with sugar, and then the starter consumes the sugar and it turns into as it ferments the tea. Now, <clears throat> fermented pretty much anything will just boost your health and immune, but let's, you know, with tea, you get all the antioxidants of it, and it will truly, truly boost your gut health, and which will in return boost your immunity. You're thinking, ew, it's gross. Well, I mean, to be fair, kombucha can be kind of an acquired taste. But the thing is, is you never know unless you try it. And if you've never had home brewed kombucha, it's totally different than the stuff in the stores. Although the stuff in the stores is crazy good. But brands do matter. So like if you're one of those people that don't like kombucha because you don't like drinking vinegar, just try a different brand. Brew Doctor, Health Aid, those are both really good brands that are a lot less vinegary. Rowdy Mermaid for my friends in Colorado. I haven't found that the Rowdy Mermaid anywhere else other than Colorado, and that one by far is my absolute favorite brand. It is hands down the best. But Brew Doctor, Health Aid, those are I also. I thought I would grab my bottle of kombucha out of the fridge to show y'all. This one's really good. It's. I'm glad I like it because <laughs> it's like the only one of two flavors that I can find that I actually like here in East Texas. That's probably my biggest complaint with East Texas is that the options of more of holistic health and alternative healing and things like that is very, very, very limited. I used to be thinking like, how is this drink that healthy when she said she puts a bunch of sugar in it? Well, the SCOBY, like the, the culture basically eats the sugar. And so it's virtually a sugar-free drink by the time it's actually done. And when it's, so when kombucha is properly brewed, it is so healthy for few, you. Just to name a few of the things that kombucha can do for you, this magical elixir can do for you. It can help things like manage type two diabetes, help with weight loss, protect against cancer, reduce inflammation, um, lower your cholesterol. I mean, uh, detoxify your body. Uh, I mean, it's guys, seriously, even if you don't like it, you should still drink it. <laughs> Okay, so I know that's easier said than done, but seriously, guys, the pros are so, so worth it. Guys, so the water's boiling, so now I'm just going to put the tea in. Make sure I 
take off the heat so that you guys see what it kind of looks like. It's just loose leaf tea. And it says to let it steep for 10 minutes. So. The timer just went off, so now I just got to remove all the loose leaf tea and get this and put the sugar in there. All right, so I'm going to use this to get the tea out. Okay guys, so I got most of the tea out, but I went and rinsed this out, and what I'm actually going to do now is because there's not a whole lot of it left, is I'm going to try to attempt to not make a huge mess in the process, but just pour it through the strainer. That's still a lot of tea in there. Okay guys, I'm back. I just want to give everything a nice good rinse. I'm going to pour it back in here, same way. And good thing too, you see, I still got more tea. Okay, next up we're just going to add the one cup of sugar and it's already pre-measured, so that's nice. My hands are wet. I gotta dry them off. Be right back. Okay, maybe now I'll be able to rip it open. My oh, goodness gracious. Holy moly. I'm gonna go get scissors. Okay, so now I'm just gonna kind of stir it in so it dissolves. that to the side. Okay. So yeah, nothing fancy to look at, just tea. <laughs> okay, so now all I have to do is just let it cool for a few hours to completely be at room temperature. While we're waiting for the tea to cool, I thought we could do a little bit of a his brief back history on Kabushka and how it all started. Kombucha has been around for thousands and thousands of years. It's only been super popular in the U.S. and maybe like in the last five or six years. I've been drinking it for probably close to ten. Um, but in the last five or six years is when it's gotten really, really popular in the U.S. Now, to my knowledge, there's no actual concrete evidence as to who exactly first started Kombucha and who discovered it. There's a couple of different myths and a couple of different legends. Um, the earliest legend that I'm aware of came like thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. And it was an emperor somewhere over in the Asian countries. Basically, some tea leaves flew in his cup one day in the water and he started drinking it. And so he was really just blown away by it. He just really, really loved it. And so he started making more and more of it and started experimenting with it and then started feeding it to his people. And then it just kind of went on from there. And then and another cool little story about Kabushka is back in 1913, it helped stop and cure like an epidemic over in Germany that they used Kombucha to help treat and prevent it. So I thought that was kind of cool too. It's definitely, the, it got it, its nickname is the elixir of life and there's a reason why. And it is because, well, you just need to start drinking it and find out. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> well, actually, no, I'm not kidding. You really should drink it. I know it's kind of an acquired taste, but, you know, even if you don't like it, like I said before. So, but in all seriousness, know that guys, no, I've been drinking kombucha for about 10 years, like I mentioned before, and I have noticed the most amazing health changes in my own body. Um, Overall, I'm really, really healthy. There's no doubt about it. I don't, I, I, in the last 10 years, I've been sick maybe twice. Never had COVID or anything like that. Um, I just, I typically don't get sick. I'm not saying I never get sick, but 
well, I mean, I don't really. I take, it's a lot of it has to do, with, now I'm not saying kapushka is the only reason I never get sick, but I am saying it's one of many reasons why. I also eat an abundance of fresh fruits and vegetables. I also am in the sun whenever I can be. There's lots and lots of different things that is key and important and vital and crucial to a healthy, strong immune system, but it starts with your gut. He is completely cold, so now for the fun part, making the kombucha. Okay guys, so I just put the tea back in here, and so now all it says to do is to pour the tea in the jar, and you add the starter liquid and SCOBY, and then you fill it up with eight more cups of water. So it goes the tea, a little bit of sugar and tea leaves in the bottom. Let me get something there. Alright, so now I'm just going to take some scissors, and I'm going to cut it like so. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mmm. So yeah. So that's how it looks. How cool is that? I actually thought it was a dehydrated one, but clearly it's not. Clearly I was wrong. <clears throat> so we will want to cut this. this. There you go. We're going to dump that in. Ooh. Okay, so now I need to go get eight cups of filtered water. Here's the first four cups. Okay, here's four more. For a total of eight. And so now I'm going to open up the cloth and the rubber band. Let's get it all the way down so I can cut it by accident. Cute little drawstring. Look at that. That's cute. It's the little things. I get excited easily. <laughs> Alright, so some pH test strips, it looks like. So that's cool. So you can test it. Copper. So now I'm just going to put this cloth over it with the rubber band. Oh, what happened there? It's really blurry. Please hold. That's better. So now I'm going to just stick it back here in the corner out of direct sunlight in the kitchen because it needs airflow and it can't be with direct sunlight and there's plenty of airflow in here. But yeah, now I'm going to name it. So what to name it? Hmm. I think I kind of like the name Gaia. My beautiful Gaia. Yep. Now I'm going to just leave her sit here for a week to 10 days and I'll just check on her and I am so excited and I promise that I will share updates. Well guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. I am so glad you guys came over and got to hang out with me and I hope you enjoyed learning about kombucha and I hope you guys try it. Seriously, even if you guys have tried it in the past and you, you were kind of rubbed or you know, turned off by it, still give other flavors and other brands a try. I promise you you will not regret it. So until next time guys, take care and have a fantastic day.